Flow. Hello. Oh. You want to make a show? We're making a show. What's our main character's first name? Fuck you. Hello, sir. I had much better luck last night, and I didn't record the fucking audio. Something with balloons. I'm not sure what. Something like balloons. Okay. Balloons with get him in trouble. He has to do community service. Um, is partnered with that person. Oh, can't type. All right, and then that person helps them in a certain way. How how do they help them? I mean, I guess they just talk. Um, yeah, they talk. Um, what, what about this person that they're partnered with is? good about him like what's good about his thoughts that's going to be able to help the other guy's bad thoughts that's the point where i ask you is it like a comedy or is it a true story or well it's not a true story you're making it up but not, not like a true story like a you know like a drama story i gotcha uh it it could be anything we're spitballing it could be, it could um, be a sad gritty story but it could I'm, be thinking a comedy. Like, I'm thinking like crazy war stories, but maybe it's been done already. I mean, everything's been done already. We just put a new spin on it. But sure, okay, yeah. So he goes, yeah, he has some war stories that those anecdotes give him an idea of what he's doing wrong in his life. Okay, he tells war stories and uh, helps guy uh, become better. Okay, um, so then he he adapts to that, and the guy helps him, and he gets what he wanted, and his brain's better, but he pays a price for that. What kind of bad thing comes from him getting that thing he wanted? I mean, maybe some of the guy's war stories, like the negative aspects of it, seep in or something, or I don't know. There's just some sort of obstacle that comes up because his brain's fixed now. I'm thinking like forgetting uh, uh, something that belongs to him in one of those uh, combat areas and making this person go and go after it. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So like a, like a fetch quest, like something. So I guess we're jumping back, like in order. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, the war stories reveal something where he has to go and get this thing to save it. And then he goes there to get it. And then I guess he gets caught up in war type stuff where his, his life is in danger, probably, where he's about to die almost. Someone, or maybe someone else is looking for it and they're threatening his life because they want it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, has to find an uh, object and uh, puts him in danger. Okay. Um, so then, so they pay, they pay a price and then they come back. So I guess... How do they defeat this danger? Do you know? I mean, I yeah. guess it should be related to the what, how their mind got better, you know? So, yeah, I guess the stories told by the friend probably trigger a solution to fighting these guys, and he fights them. Maybe these guys uh, good thoughts make him somehow, some way overcome the the obstacle that uh, is the main event of the the movie or the the story well right of course i mean and that obstacle is him wanting to uh have better mind or have uh better thoughts so then oh maybe something with the balloons save the day because the balloons get him whatever he did with the balloons at the beginning gets him in trouble but then he does that again to, to fight the war stuff, the problem. And then he comes home and he's like, his brain's better. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I think the I should I should try to polish the ending a little bit better, but that goes full circle, man. We did it. 
fault. That's right, man. I know. Well, I guess look out for TV because it's going to be on soon. Yeah. It's yeah. on YouTube. Uh, I, I don't know. Well, I just, I just started doing this. It's not on the internet yet, but maybe in the future. Who knows? But when, well, when you do the make it a movie, don't forget. Yeah. Sounds good. That's cool. Okay. Well, it was That's nice to meet you, cool. sir. What was your name? Here, I'll put your name on it. What was your name? You don't have to give me your full name. You can tell me yeah. anything. But... No, no. You can call me Michael. Michael. Okay. That's not how you spell Michael. There you go. All right. Michael wrote this. All right. Good. Good job, sir. I will talk to you Thanks. later.